Hello Leather Crafters. I'm here in the leather shop today. Today I'm actually making some leather bolos. Um, I've got um, three in the works right here and they have the clamp on the back. Um, and this is a two layer piece and I've riveted um, the uh, clasp or the clamp um, to the back layer here and that doesn't show in the front. But I hand tooled these, carved these. I made like a mirror image. I drew my design on one side and then uh, flipped it over and um, transferred it to this side. So it's kind of identical, but slightly different. Anyway, I've got uh, one with a C, a B, and a W. I've got those three leather ones. And also for my same uh, um, the customer, uh, he brought these... Uh, uh, emblems in that are um, actually I'm not sure what they are um, they may be those emblems that go like in a trailer hitch uh, on these fancy cars and so forth but this is the Texas A&M logos and what I've done is uh, cut a piece of heavy saddle skirting and um, riveted my uh, the clamp through there and then I put uh, four or five uh, coats of master cement on each side and let that set up a few days and it, that should stick from now on. Let me tell you about the clamp I use. I ordered my um, uh, bolo clamps from um, Tandy Leather. They're in the catalog, but I had to modify them a little bit and you can too uh, also with a, uh, find a silversmith or someone that does some silver work, uh, uh, a, a jeweler actually could do it possibly. Um, and I soldered a, a nickel silver strip on the back and then drilled holes. Um, I can't remember. Um, it's been a few days since I've made these, fix these clamps. You can do it either way. You can drill the holes before or after you solder the piece on there. But anyway, um, that's a little tip right there. And I came up with my shape, a couple different shapes, uh, and see what you can do is you can draw an oval or any shape you want and uh, fold it over and make a kind of a mirror finish. And that's what fin it, uh, a, a mirror pattern is what I'm trying to say. Got ahead of myself there. But anyway, you can put all your information when you design this and all that for future reference. And I used um, some heavy saddle skirting. I did pull this through my um, machine over there, uh, my splitter, and kind of draw that thinned it down a little bit. The back is somewhat thinner. That's about a seven ounce right there. And this is a good uh, 11 to 12 ounce in thickness. And um, what I'll do is cut my oval out here and... Uh, Make sure it's nice and symmetrical, and then uh, wet it and put the design on it. Let it dry a while, and then um, in the meantime, I um, figure out where I want to uh, mount my clamp on the back. And I'll, I usually put like a, a straight line down the center of the this piece, and then the center of my tool piece, so I can glue those together, and my clamp will be on there straight. Um, this is a fun project to do, and uh, it's a leather craft idea for you. Let me know what you think of this one. There's a look at my pattern I made out of poster board. There's the clamp, the bolo clip clamp that I modified by putting a strip and drilling a couple of holes so I could rivet that to my back piece. And there's a look at the uh, bolos after they were tooled and glued on to the back piece right there. Could have done a little neater job with my rivets right there, but I was out of the, I uh, uh, needed a number 10, I think. No, a number 12 would have been better than the 14s with the rivet and burr. Anyway, still worked out all right. The lace I used, that's English tan bridal leather that I cut um, quarter inch strips 
uh, wet the strips and then beveled the strips. Now the bolos are put together, lightly oiled the strips, and then saddle soaked them, and they slide and stay clamped uh, real nicely. Uh, kind of unique bolos. Possibly this will give you an idea of what you can do. Um, uh, I oiled these uh, with uh, olive oil, then put a coat of the uh, Pro Resist made by Feebings to uh, give it a protective coating.